our location. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Joy Redmond. The site where young Dolph lost his life went from popular bakery to crime scene to shrine and the hope now of a booming business. Action News 5's Bria Bolden explains how the owners came to this difficult decision. Bria. The owners of Makita's Cookies closed down their flagship store, what they thought was for good, last November. But they told us today, after much reflection, they decided to reopen and in doing so, move forward and pay tribute to the beloved Memphis rapper and dedicated customer. Starting again after tragedy, it's what the owners of Makita's Cookies, Pamela and Maurice Hill, are doing after deciding to reopen their flagship store on Airways Boulevard. And we haven't sold a cookie here since that day. And uh, so I guess you could say Young Dolph was the last one that was here to purchase cookies. Uh, you know, from the last day that we were here. For more than 20 years, Makita's has been where Memphians could find their famous butter cookies and other sweets. The Hills decided to close their flagship store after Memphis rapper Young Dolph was gunned down inside the store last November. You know, it wasn't uh, an easy decision. You know, it was kind of hard for us to come back because of the tragedy, because of the loss of life of Young Dolph. And it was hard for us to come back, but you know, this this has been our location. This has had been kind of like home for us. The Hills say they didn't come to the decision lightly, saying financial struggles and community members asking them to come back, help them decide to reopen their doors. You know, we cannot let that be the end of the story, you know, and so uh, we have to continue on, you know, to honor him and to keep on letting the world know about Makita's because he loved coming here. Every customer that walks through that door, you know, gets treated like a, like a superstar. And that's what, uh, yes. that's the special part of Makita's, you know, because we love the customer. We are nobody without the customers. With the ovens hot and racks full of cookies, the Hills will reopen their original location on Airways Boulevard Saturday.